Tension builds as Stockton police swarm in on a group of people in Stockton said to be holding weapons. But it turns out it was a local film crew. The people were actors and those weapons were fake. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live in Stockton to explain how this whole situation unfolded. Ryan? Yeah, that's right. The filmmaker says that he and his crew were just filming a scene for their Amazon Prime TV show that's set to, up to, set to be on the streaming service. He says that he tried to get a permit to use the fake firearms, but Stockton PD says that they wish that these filmmakers would have called them in advance to let them know what was going on to avoid the situation entirely. Stockton filmmaker Keith Lee says this isn't a scene from his upcoming TV show. Stockton police officers with guns drawn show up, responding to calls that they had received of people holding guns in the Stockton neighborhood. All we can hear is get down, get down, get down, get down on the ground. It's a real life situation that had him and his film crew rattled once they started filming a scene with their soft guns. So we just obliged. I would just know, we know police voices, so we just laid down on the ground. Lee tells CBS 13 he got permission from the market owner to do the scene with the prop guns in front of his store. I've been raised in this neighborhood, going to that store for over 15 years, so I know the whole family of the store. So it wasn't any problem about us even filming there. CBS 13 is getting answers on what the film permit policies are in the Stocktons and San Joaquin County area. The film commissioner tells us filming in public places like these government buildings requires a fee and a permit. A private property doesn't. You need the owner's permission to film there. Stockton police and the film commission say that filmmakers need to reach out to law enforcement if any films involve any kind of firearms or shooting. But Lee feels there still could be miscommunication. And they call in to the police and tell them that you're using using fake guns. But one of the police officers missed the call. And he rides by and, and he didn't get that call about calling in. And he thinks it's something and it could be an accident that way. Listen, I've worked here for 20 years, folks, and I've seen a lot of kids shot, a lot of kids hurt with a live gunfire. Lee says he's grateful the police sergeant was understanding during the high tension situation. But the rest of them, they should follow his example and deal with it because he was calm. You know, he peeked out the situation and he asked the right questions. He wasn't aggressive at all. This hungry filmmaker hopes there can be better dialogue to make sure he and others can capture their vision. I just think that we need better communication with the people of the community and the people here that are doing arts. And how can we hire the police to get them to protect us while we're doing this type of art? Lee tells me that he plans on putting signs or other different types of measures to alert people and let people know that this is a film location and that they do not have any type of real firearms or any real violent situations are going on right now. He also tells me that no arrests or citations were issued during this incident. Yeah, it could be pretty troubling to see, uh, you know, uh, ordinary folks seeing folks with guns. You know, they don't know if it's a film, so those signs would certainly be helpful. And it looks like that officer diffused the situation pretty well. Ryan Hell in Stockton. Thank you.